In my previous video, we fully broke down and analysed the new Minecraft Live 2021 announcement trailer. However, there's still quite a bit more to go over from the developers themselves and on the official Minecraft.net website. That is why in this video, we are going to be talking about it and I'm going to be telling you everything you need to know. So if you do go on to enjoy this video, be sure to drop a like and let me know what you think the next major Minecraft update announced at this event will be. But without going on for any longer, let's get right into the video. Now let's take a look at the first ever tweet about Minecraft Live 2021, which came from the official Minecraft Twitter account saying on October the 16th, Minecraft Live is coming to a zombie inducing screen near you. Read more about the livest live show and prepare yourself for the never ever controversial mob vote, block breaking announcements, and of course the absolute minded chickens. Below obviously is a link to the trailer, be sure you check my previous video out if you want to find out all about this, there'll be a link down below in the description. But let's skip right over to the link provided, which leads us to this Minecraft net article saying Minecraft Live is back. Watch the epic live stream on October the 16th. Dear reader, you are cordially invited to one of the biggest events of the season, year, no, decade. On October the 16th at noon EDT, we will be celebrating all things blocky with an epic live stream still known as Minecraft Live. You can attend from the comfort of your own home by watching the show at minecraft.net slash live or on our YouTube channel. The guest list includes new and familiar faces from Mojang Studios, our amazing community and a surprise appearance or two. On the menu you will find in-depth reviews, exciting reveals and a nail-biting vote and puns galore. Please send positive vibes so the power doesn't go out. Should you lose your invitation you can keep an eye on minecraft.net slash live where more and more information will be added as we approach October the 16th. No RSVP needed, we will see you there. Which is obviously a very nice post here. If we then go to minecraft.net slash live where they wanted to redirect us to, that obviously at the top is the trailer where it says announcing Minecraft Live October the 16th, 2021, but be just below that it obviously says a celebration of all things Minecraft, and I think this is just a, a generic um, page where every Minecraft Live is announced now, I think it's pretty similar to last year, but just in case you've not already saw it, it says film live and beamed across the world via internet, this show is packed with juicy Minecraft news content creators and will include a pre-show and community vote to actually influence the game. How and where can I watch? watch on pretty much any device. Phones, tablets, PCs, game consoles, you can watch it on this very website as well as the official Minecraft accounts. Below is an image to where and what time you can watch this event, so this is pretty much the same as last year. This is all of the dates you need to know depending on where you live around the world. But yeah, that's quite a bit of information there about how and where you can watch this. We do know that this is going to be another live event, so the same as last year basically just go on YouTube on the official Minecraft channel you'll be able to watch it there you can come to the minecraft.net slash live website and you can also subscribe to this channel with the notification bell on because I will be covering everything announced there now then let's move on to the events contents itself without spoiling the trailer because as I said I did a full-on video talking about this and breaking it down but we do now know that there will be another Minecraft mob vote at this event containing three different contestants as teased by the image on the trailer. We do not know what these three mobs will be, we do not know if they you know will be hostile mobs, passive, we know nothing about them. I think it would be awesome to see maybe the Isolager make a return because I do know that is a fan favourite but as I said at the moment we really do not know nothing apart from there will be three different selections to choose from and that it will be held live at the Minecraft Live event 2021 on October the 16th. However, this decision has stirred up the community quite a bit for numerous reasons. As you may have actually noticed on last year's mob vote, 
a lot of video creators such as Dream did actually come out and use their community in a bit of a meme jokey way which did annoy quite a few people though to vote for what they actually wanted. It was a bit of a meme to vote for the glow squid although it is a very cool mob there was definitely a few more interesting options but however people did vote the glow squid as a result of so many people coming out and getting their audience to vote for it and it did win as a result. There is no doubt that if people did not do this the glow squid would not have won the vote. It was arguably the least content rich mob out of the three but as we all know now the glow squid did win and a lot of people do say it's a mistake although I really do like the mob at the moment. This has also happened in the past with the phantom and now this has caused quite a few people to come out and say let's not make the same mistake again and let's not vote for the um, bad mob again. It's a bit of a meme at the moment people talking about this but people People are just quite concerned that we'll get another phantom situation where a mob looks cool, people vote for it, and then of course it turns out being um, maybe not the best choice. I see that the only way Mojang could fix this if they're still going through with the traditional mob vote is maybe if they show us actual gameplay at this event of the mob playing in game, but as I talked about this idea in the past and someone actually pointed out, this would require a lot more work and effort and resources to be put into these mobs before Minecraft Live in order for them to be shown, which would be quite hard on the developers to be able to do all of this for mobs that may never even be added to the game, therefore it removes the point and the purpose of a mob vault after all. There's a suggestion I had and I do not know how easy it would be for Mojang to do this, but maybe if they added a little pop-up box for players to press one of the three options if they load up Minecraft within the time this live event is happening maybe that would be a cool way to get more people to actually vote therefore it cancels out the meme um, answers on the mob vote rather than just doing it on Twitter which actually leaves a lot of room for error and um, results in people that do not have Twitter being alienated I think it would be cool to find a better way to um, include other members of the Minecraft community but that is all of the information we know so far the dates the event will be taking place, the time, how you can watch this, the platforms it will be on and much more. If you did enjoy this video be sure to drop it a like and subscribe if you are new and here for daily Minecraft content. It's been me G for everyone, go and play some Minecraft, have an amazing day and I'll see you all tomorrow, goodbye.